If anybody ever asks, is uh, New York a dirty city? I don't know. I mean, sometimes. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Doesn't seem that dirty. It's pretty dirty. And it smells. So bad. Because everyone pees and poops on the sidewalks? Yes, I didn't. I spared you any shots of uh, <laughs> defecation on the sidewalk, but It's you a pretty regular occurrence. <laughs> will see, you will smell, and you will occasionally step in it. And then you play the age-old New York game, dog or human? <laughs> yeah, that was a thing I didn't, I didn't expect. But then because of that, the dirtiness, the disgustiness of New York that we are walking through right now, it becomes what uh, many consider the New York charm. But I think that's just because we can't afford to clean it up. Yeah. I like to call it the New York charm because it makes me feel better about it. <laughs> So yeah, New York is a dirty place. But today, we're just gonna be out vlogging. I think we're gonna go find some thrift stores. That's why we're in East Village. But every time that we would do a uh, B-roll segment of where we're going, I'm just gonna show you more trash. <laughs> That was the Cure thrift store in East Village. and Fantastic thrift store, actually. Yeah, it was actually pretty nice. Uh, didn't really film anything in there because they asked us not to film inside because apparently they hate free advertising. <laughs> um, but it's actually pretty good, but except for everything was way too expensive, just like the rest of New York. Yeah, well, and just like quality vintage thrift stores. Yeah. You're gonna pay. 200 bucks for a shirt, you know. We are looking for maybe some fun cameras. Um, Which they had a couple, yeah. actually. They had some Polaroid land cameras, some eight millimeter cameras. They had some great typewriters in there. But again, you're looking at 150 bucks for an eight millimeter camera that- <laughs> Doesn't even work. Well, it might work, we don't know. Well, while we were walking to there, I had the thought that in New York, even like the nicest parts of Manhattan, would be like the shady part of pretty much any other town in America. Oh yeah. It's like you, you have to, your level of like what you accept as nice dramatically decreases whenever you actually live here. I, but I think part of that is because it teaches you that it doesn't matter. Like coming from Oklahoma where you have neighborhoods yeah. or whatever, New York isn't like that. But basically right across the street from Cure is Salvation Army, so we're gonna try this one out. Well, we essentially walked right into Salvation Army and walked right back out. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty much all closed and had had a Faint. particular smell to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in true New York, you know, fashion, uh, as we were walking out, um, Rachel Dratch from SNL was walking right in. You never did catch that anthrax guy. And she's actually walking right in front of us currently. Just so casual. That's what makes New York cool. Yeah. But our next stop is in Gramercy, so we got about a half mile walk to get there. Yes. But as we were walking to Gramercy, we are walking through Union Square, through the grossest part of New York that I regularly see. Right here, next to the park, is this nasty smelling trash area that trash juice just runs into the bike lane right here and it's constant it's constantly smelling like even when there's not trash there you have to walk through it like this yes <laughs> and whenever i'm on my boosted board going through that bike lane i always just go into the street around it because i because literally trash juice will splash up onto it's my ankles so gross. See, that biker hates that trash too. He, just, he rides by and flips it off. We stopped in Barnes Noble because Sarah cannot walk by Barnes Noble and not go in. But I saw they had this uh, new thing that I haven't seen before. 
this brand new tech from Barnes & Noble. Pick up any of those books. Whoa. Pick a different one. That's cool. They could use some help with their graphic design, but the uh, technology's cool. Overall, very, very innovative. For bookstores? You gotta have some sort of technology to bring these young kids in to start reading again. Yeah, show them a video about it. <laughs> it's called Wait for the Movie. <laughs> <laughs> We are walking by Gramercy Park, New York's only surviving private park. And we are being let in. It's the key to the city. I feel all the history. No. No, we would love to hear. The ships used to come in downtown around Whitehall. And so one day a Dutch guy comes up here and he buys 40 lots. And each person that would buy a lot would also have an interest in the park. And they said, oh, he would never make it. One of the first persons that bought it was Edith Wharton. Huh. The second person was Peter Cooper, who was friends mm -hmm. with Mr. Otis. And as you know, the Booth family lived over here. Mm -hmm. The who? Booth. President Lincoln, boom, boom. boom. Oh, Booth. that Booth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have Jimmy Fallon that lives here on a few floors. We've got Brad Cooper that lives here. Mm. Jennifer Aniston and Justice own an apartment at the Gramercy Park Hotel. Hello, how are you? Oh, but it's not a lot. Everybody just a watchman. I mean, I'm, I'm the uh, protector of the park. I'm like a vicious pit bull. That's why this park is empty. I don't let anybody in here. You gotta, you gotta Including me, it. I can't get in? No. You can't get a key. Well, I'm here now. Well, what, what I I'm leaving soon. You, you, you passed the test because you remember, but I don't think I didn't call him at the front desk. I said, who is this woman? Because we eliminated all the nonprofits that are in the building. Yeah. There are six of them. Yeah. I said, none of your members can come in this bar. Okay. Nice to meet you, ladies. Nice to meet you. Gentlemen. I'll see you. <laughs> Don't Nothing. come again. <laughs> So we just got to go into and take a tour of the Gramercy Park, the most exclusive, the most private park in the whole city. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know, but Gramercy Park, so if you live in certain buildings around Gramercy Park, it comes with a key to the park, and that's the only people allowed into the park. So it's, it's very exclusive. And this lady was just like, hey, do you guys want a tour of the park? And we're like, uh, duh. Yeah. yeah, and then we met the, well, they called her the mayor of the park, but she's the head of the association. Yes. She like makes sure everybody's following the rules and stuff. She said Which she was very uh, vocal about. Yes. <laughs> very serious about their exclusivity here. Yes. <laughs> but I feel privileged that we got to yeah. see it. I really thought like, oh, that's gonna th be a thing that never happens to us, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Just gonna stare at it from a distance. So I actually take back the thing that I said about the nicest parts of New York actually would be a shady part of uh, any other city. <laughs> because true. Gramercy would definitely not be a shady part of any city. No. <laughs> but we are literally one block away and we're back to nastiness. So one funny story while we were talking to the mayor of Gramercy Park is she, the lady who let us in asked her what building she lived in and she told her and she said, oh, you live in Jimmy Fallon's building. She said, no. Jimmy Fallon lives in my building. Yeah. <laughs> they were something else. They yeah. were something else. And she said that uh, when she dies, she's going to be cremated and buried right there. And the, girl, the lady goes, but aren't you, you're Jewish. <laughs> she said, so? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what we actually came here for was vintage thrift. Right here. <laughs> Never mind. So what we actually came up here was for a tour of Gramercy Park. So yes, New York is dirty, but the experiences you encounter here are unlike anywhere else in the world. Yeah. So you can be walking down the street, trash piles behind you, yeah. but then all of a sudden you stumble <laughs> upon some 
person letting you into the Gramercy Park or stumble upon uh, some amazing festival or right. food or, you know, meet somebody. Just all the history, all the things, all the people make New York so worth it, even if you have to deal with trash. I mean, where else are you going to see this guy? If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're not, we make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on this channel. We also do a podcast called Deeply Curious. You can check that out by going to deeplycurious.fm or searching Deeply Curious on whatever podcasting app you use. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!